Hello everyone, welcome back into the Take Care Man channel. My name is Todd and my goal in this channel is to equip men to take better care of themselves. So this is the second video in the series of result videos from the 54321 Challenge first year edition. About to kick off the second year here very soon. In the first video, we looked at the results from the shaving soaps. In this video, we're gonna look at the post-shave products, aftershaves, balms, witch hazels, etc. So just like the shaving soap video, I'm gonna first list the companies and artisans that were mentioned most often in the post-shave picks. Okay, in the top tier of aftershaves, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and Clubman had 16 picks each. Now you see the splash from Phoenix here on the left, and then the star jelly, and then that's actually a bottle for hot sauce slash salad dressing I bought off Amazon. I move all my Clubman products from plastic containers to the glass containers because the plastic they use in the Clubman bottles seems to affect the scent and that seems to be a consensus among wet shavers. And from PAA, the scent that was mentioned most often was Praise John From, but it just had two mentions. So there was quite a diverse selection from the PAA lineup. 10 of them that were mentioned were splashes, five star jellies, and then one person mentioned the Chell Gel as a post-shave pick. From the Clubman brand, the most common one, no surprise here, Penaud Clubman with five picks and then Virgin Island Bay Rum with three. Then a couple mentions for Whiskey Woods, Special Reserve, and The Veg, Lilac Vegetal. Coming in by itself with 15 picks was A&E plus the Club brand, so I combined those two together like I did with the shaving soap. There were eight mentions of A&E splashes, five mentions of Club splashes, and two mentions of the post-shave serum. From the A&E splashes of the eight mentioned, four were Asian Plum, and four were the signature brand from the club. All right, in the third position among brands, we have a three-way tie between Nivea, Thayer's, and Zingari Man. There were 14 total picks for Nivea, Thayer's, and Zingari Man. The most common one among Nivea were six for the two-in-one or two-phase. So this two-in-one is the stuff that's sort of separated, clear and then blue there, and when you shake it up, it mixes together into uh, one serum or solution, if you will. So six people picked that one. And then four people picked the sensitive balm, and then a couple others picked the sensitive cooling balm. As far as Thayer's, the most mentioned scent was the unscented. Besides four picks for the unscented witch hazel, there were two picks each for lemon, coconut, and cucumber. And two of the people that mentioned Thayer's mentioned the balm that comes in a container that looks similar to this one. And Zingari Man also had 14 picks. 13 of those picks were for their balm. One was for their rescue potion. And eight of the balm picks were for the unscented, making it one of the popular products in the lineup. Okay, next up were 12 picks for Sterling. Five of those were splashes. Four of those were their witch hazel, aloe and witch hazel splash you see there to the left and two were for balms, and one person mentioned actually using their body lotion as a balm. And what's actually interesting is that there were no repeat scents among the balms, witch hazels, and splashes. So that wide range of scents that Sterling has was represented in the 12 picks. Okay, coming up next with nine selections was Fine, and the most popular scent was Fine American Blend with four mentions. Okay, next up was seven mentions each was Chateon Lux, Parasso, and Aqua Velva. And I grouped together the American Aqua Velva products and then the Spanish uh, Williams Aqua Velva. I think they're technically two different companies, but I just grouped the Aqua Velvas together. The most mentioned product in the Aqua Velva lineup was the Sensitive 5-in-1 Balm, which I actually don't have anymore. I did cover it in my Aqua Velva Roundup video. That's linked below in the description if you'd like to see the comparison of all the Aqua Velva products head to head. But there was uh, two mentions for the Williams Aqua Velva, the Spanish version there on the right, and the classic ice blue uh, that you see there in the center. For Parasso, the most common mentioned scent was the green with five selections and the red, the sandalwood, with two. For Chatillon Lux, the splashes were mentioned four times, the toners were mentioned three times, and there were two mentions specifically for the Graciot League Square scent. Next up, there were six mentions each for Barbado, 
and for Barrister and Man. Uh, Barbado just has the one cent in terms of their splash. It's actually called a Moisturizing Razor Bump Therapy Aftershave Lotion, which is a mouthful. Uh, but that was selected by six different shavers. And six different shavers selected the Barrister and Man post shave products. Among the Barrister and Man products, there were two mentions for Fougere Angelique, which is not pictured here, and two mentions for Fougere Gothique, which is the one here on the right. Okay, next up were actually three brands. I only have one of the brands represented here, and that is Old Spice. I actually combined the Schulten Old Spice and this Old Spice, even though I know that they are different. Uh, it was a little hard to distinguish sometimes when people were talking about the original versus the classic versus the Schulten Old Spice. So I just grouped them all together. Two that I do not have here to show you, there was five mentions for Mal Groomings Splash and three specifically of those mentioned the Frankenlime scent. And then there were five mentions of Soap Commander's Balms. Okay, then there were several with four mentions each. That included Lucky Tiger, and there were four specific mentions for the aftershave and face tonic you see here. There were four mentions for Skin Bracer, which is decanted there into a glass bottle out of the plastic bottle. And then four mentions for Razor Rock, although there was not a particular scent that had more mentions than any of the other scents. Uh, not pictured, but also with four picks were Floyd, Highland Springs Soap Company, and then Avon. Uh, two of the mentions were Avon Vintage Aftershaves and then two for Wild Country, which is actually still made. And then finally, with three mentions each, were Oleo Soapworks and Spec, and also not pictured the Haga Splash, which I believe is a Swedish product, was mentioned three times as well. Now to look at the most popular scents across all brands. With eight votes was the Zingari Unscented Balm, Six votes Barbado, six votes for the Nivea Two Phase, also called Two and One, and five votes each for Clubman Pinald, which again here is in the glass decant, and Parasso Green. Then there were several specific scents with four mentions each. I have four of them pictured here: Fine American Blend, Lucky Tiger's Aftershave and Face Tonic, Skin Bracer, and the Unscented Thayers. Not pictured. Four mentions for the Club Signature scent four mentions for A&E Asian Plum, and four mentions for the Nivea Sensitive Balm. So there you have it. Those are the post-shave picks from the first year of the 54321 countdown videos. And once again, a big thank you to everyone who participated in this video challenge and gave their post-shave picks. Now in part three of this series, we're gonna cover the razors. I'm gonna skip over the brushes for now. We're gonna save that one for the last video, and I'll explain why when I get there. Part three will be razors, part four will be the blades, and part five will be the brushes. So if you would help out the channel, look below, see if you're subscribed. If you're not, consider subscribing. Sometimes I know I accidentally hit unsubscribe from channels I thought I was subscribed to. So if you think you're subscribed, just double check down there. I would encourage you to also turn on the notifications. Please leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you thought of this video, and leave a comment below. I would really appreciate it. So thanks again for watching, and until next time, take care, man. Thank you.